Hi everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne, and today I'm gonna unbox this Nixius Moda mechanical keyboard featuring the brown kale switches. Here's a look at the accessories. You get a warranty card, very nice, as well as this uh, user guide. There is nothing on the inside. That's because everything is on the back. <laughs> And that's because this is a quite uh, straightforward, simple keyboard with uh, kale switches, so that's why there's not uh, too much to go over. Now, they've also included for you eight keycaps, extra ones, which is pretty awesome. It's always nice to have extra keycaps. And um, I don't usually see blue, so that is cool. However, what I don't like about them is that under dimly lit conditions, it's harder to see the lettering. Um, so maybe it would have been nice if uh, they were uh, laser engraved or something like that, just to see it better. But other than that, thank you Nixius for providing eight extra keycaps. I'll put them on the keyboard in a bit to show you what they look like. They've also included a keycap puller tool. Now, while I still prefer the wire puller, that's probably the best method that I know of so far, if you have nothing else, this could be quite handy. Um, and uh, let's move on to the keyboard. Here's a closer look at the keyboard. I've swapped out the uh, WASD key as well as the arrow key right here. Took us a while to like figure out which direction it was, but we figured it out because <laughs> it's like the sloping. Anyway, um, and I also want to go over the cable. So you get six feet of this uh, rubberized cable as well as a, I believe, USB 2.0 connector. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over to the back first. So on the back, you get this kind of textured finish here, as well as angled feet. And you also get one, two, three, four rubberized feet, so it keeps this unit in place, especially when you're in an intense keyboard whatever session, what have you, gaming or Excel. <laughs> now that we're back at the front, I want to go over the dimensions. So it measures 14 inches or 355 millimeters by 7 inches or 177 millimeters by 2 inches or 50 millimeters. This is a very compact 10 keyless keyboard, which is great for taking for on the go, LAN parties, uh, you know, traveling, all that good stuff. Um, and it is a standard QWERTY layout, and since it's 10 keyless, doesn't have a full numpad, but you do get all of these scroll lock, print home end, page insert keys, as well as uh, directional keys. And up at the top, over here, next to the F12 key, you do get dedicated media keys, which is great, volume control for uh, volume mute and up and down, which is pretty awesome because normally on a lot of keyboards you have to press function and then like an F key or something. And there's also a home page key as well as your email key. You're gonna have to set that up yourself. Um, I just press a button and show like Outlook or something, but I'm sure you could like toggle with those settings. Um, and aside from that, why don't we go ahead and take a closer look at the switch. So I'm gonna show you a closer look at the kale switch. And just gonna use this wire puller to take it out. Oh, so much easier and better. Okay, um, and you'll notice that it looks almost exactly like a Cherry MX Brown switch. That's because the construction is very, very, very similar. That's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> Okay, so basically these kale browns, they are a, a soft tactile, so that means this is more of a silent switch and you get a bit of a bump with it. Um, however, if you want a more pronounced bump, I would probably go with the clears. And also, these are rated for 50 million keystrokes. And this keyboard comes with a three-year warranty, so that is a pretty sweet deal. I'm gonna go ahead and remove some more of these keycaps so I can show you the steel plate that's beneath the keys. Here's a closer look at the steel plate beneath the keys. And this is really just to add a layer of stability. It's more durable. And even with the steel plate, this keyboard weighs in at about two pounds or close to one kilogram. So there are a few things I still wanna go over on the Nixius Moda keyboard before I do the sound test. And one of them is that this has six key rollover over USB, which is pretty standard. And that means you can press any six keys and it should register all those strokes. Uh, another thing is that like the MX Browns, it has 45 gram actuation force, so it has very little resistance, meaning if you type on it over time, you shouldn't feel as fatigued as with like a 60 gram or something like that. 
that. Um, alrighty, um, and one last thing is that these brown kales sound and feel pretty much exactly like the razor orange kales. They're also silent uh, tactile, so I believe they're just the same except like they change up the colors or something like that, so if you want a comparison. Now I have the Cool ES87 keyboard here with me. These are the MX Browns, the cherries. I'm going to do a sound test between the kales, the brown kales, and the brown cherries. So here we go. These are the brown kales. Now, you'll notice, or I notice, that there's more of like a clacking sound. But now let's hear the uh, Cherry MX. I would say the browns, uh, the kales would be a little louder than the uh, MX browns, but uh, there you have it. It's time for pros and cons, so why don't we first go over what I like about this keyboard. Well, first of all, price point. It is very affordable. It is a fully mechanical keyboard for under 100 bucks. And I know some of you have been asking me, oh, can you recommend some stuff like that? Well, this is a prime example. Number two, I really do like that there are blue keycaps for those keys that you'll probably use a lot, whether you're typing or whether you're gaming. So it's great to be able to find them, spot them right away. And I also like that it's compact. Take it to LAN parties when you're traveling. It's very portable. And uh, also really like that there are dedicated media keys. Normally you have to press function, so this is just one less step for us lazy bones. Alrighty, <laughs> and now for cons, because hey, for pros there's always a con. So uh, first up, I would have to say I would have liked to see a detachable cable. Would have been easier for packing away. Also, the build quality, while it is uh, you know, pretty sturdy plastic, would, would have liked to see a little bit better build material. However, for the price, I think it's all right. Also for the blue keycaps, would have liked to see Laser Legends just because it's just easier to see the lettering. Yeah. And uh, one last thing is that would have liked to see, you know, uh, LEDs on the caps lock and the other lock keys because otherwise I'm really not sure about them on it unless I'm using it. Well, that wraps up this overview on the Nixius Moda mechanical keyboard featuring the Kale Brown switches. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and comment because I want to hear what you have to say. Also, please go ahead and follow me on social media, Joanne Tech Lover Facebook fan page, Joanne Food Lover Twitter, and Twitch.tv twitch.tv slash worldtune, where I game stream with Tim Weekly. Also, please don't forget to donate to help expand this channel and feed this techie. And finally, I have the autograph prints on sale on store mv and they are eight and a half by 11 so go ahead and check that out and there may be cosplay prints in the future yay okay without further ado mwah, i'll see you next time